Is there a way to find your true passion or is that just a cliche? Well, it's definitely a cliche. And it, and it you know, it, it's the sort of thing that actually annoys me quite a lot about new age thinkers. And I would more or less put Joseph Campbell in that category. Um, I think you can find what compels you and what might enable you to live in a high quality manner despite the suffering that's associated with life. I think you can discover that. And I think part of the way you discover that is by watching yourself and learning when it is that you're meaningfully engaged. You have to notice that. It's something that happens to you in some sense rather than something that you do. You have to notice when you're meaningfully engaged. And then you have to work to expand the amount of time that you spend in that state. But I would also say that there are moral requirements that go along with that too, because you might say, well, what if you happen to be the, the sort of person, for example, who finds torturing small animals meaningfully engaging? Um, but it seems like that's, a, that's the sort of meaningful engagement that you probably don't want to expand. So I would say that if you're going to set up your life so that you maximize your meaningful engagement, you have to, there's a number of other things that you have to do at the same time. And one of those is that you have to get very clear about um, who you are and what you're doing. And so, although this would be grounds for a much longer discussion, I think that one of the things that you have to do if you're going to attempt to maximize me meaningful engagement is that you also have to do such things as um, endeavor to stop deceiving yourself and other people in every way you possibly can. And part of the reason for that is that if you engage in deception of any sort, you pathologize the structure of, first, the structure of your being, but you could say you pathologize the structure of your nervous system, and then you can't trust its reports. So if you're, if you're going to rely on your nervous system's reports of meaningful engagement to guide your future activities, you better do everything you can to make sure that you're not filling that nervous system with the kind of garbage that's going to make it malfunction and give, again, give you false reports. So I think that moving towards meaningful engagement has to be associated with making truth your highest value because otherwise you can't trust yourself as your own guide. I mean, the Catholics have struggled with this for a long time from a theological perspective because the Catholic position, roughly speaking, is that human beings are so steeped in sin that they can't trust their own instincts in relationship to good and evil and have to use the church and the priesthood as an intermediary. And, you know, you can obviously have an argument about that. And, of course, Protestants have historically done that, but you've got to give the Catholics their due. It's like... People aren't pure by nature and, and only trammeled in their vision by, you know, sociological impediments. They're also corrupt beyond belief individually and have to use society as a source of value. So if you're going to personalize your life in some sense, you better act in a manner that makes you a reliable guide.